engineering is a family occupation that's that's been in our family for more than 80 years. We our company was founded in 1938, so we uh, it's something I automatically knew I was going to do. Um, but then I developed a passion for for uh, literature when I was in high school for theater. Uh, so I started getting interested in, in theater and, uh, and acting and, um, and from that grew a love for cinema and uh, I studied in London for four years and during those years I really became uh, acquainted with world cinema. Uh, I used to go to a lot of repertoire theater and uh, cinema and see you know, classic films from uh, different parts of the world, different cinematographies and uh, then I decided to write uh, a script, a spec script, uh, when I was at university, and uh, it was called Letting Go, it was in English, and uh, I, I, I dreamt of making it as a very small, no-budget, independent film, and then that was kind of my calling card for uh, people to become aware, you know, that that, uh, that I can write a script, and, and from that, I got a writing job uh, in an Egyptian production called Sele uh, Mutaban Snakes and Ladders, which was uh, directed by Tariq Larian, and that was, uh, you know, that was the start, and and that was in, released in 2001, and um, I kept on writing, you know, scripts for maybe five more years before getting into production, and uh, in 2006 I formed Film Clinic, which started as a development company for developing screenplays and uh, delivering scripts to the industry. Uh, and to di different producers until I realized I'm doing the hard part of production. I'm, I'm doing the development, which is, I think, the hardest part of being a good producer is, is to have successfully develop uh, a screenplay and a project. And so I decided to get into production in 2007. Uh, I had two films released in 2008, and uh, since then I've been doing an average of two films a year. Uh, so producing or co-producing I uh, 10 feature films uh, including one documentary uh, mostly in Arabic for the uh, Arab market also uh, recently started getting into co-productions with uh, other countries I just did a film uh, British Egyptian co-production which will be in Sundance uh, world competition well the, the idea that screenplays are not just about um, a good idea but about the craft and, and that you have to learn the craft and and, uh, and that takes time it takes practice and and y you know you can you can have a really great story but if you don't tell it well it doesn't amount to much so it's important to have a good story but it's more important to tell it uh, in a skillful way that uh, that can communicate the idea the emotion and, and get audiences to engage with the characters and and um, and also be marketable and and have some commercial potential so I, I try to discover my range you know writing uh, different types of films from uh, genre films to dramas and and, uh, and recently been producing more uh, you know art house or, or more serious films you know that have done very well in, in um, festivals around the world um, and uh, but I mean as a scriptwriter I've, I've always just tried to be different and and uh, do something that you know people are not used to and and try to introduce you know new kinds of uh, storytelling and uh, so for example in 2005 uh, when we did uh, Maleki Skandaria Private Alexandria it was it was one of the first films of that genre in in over 20 years to successfully you know reintroduce the uh, thriller murder mystery type genre in Egypt and that was um, and that was a big success so um, so yeah, I've always tried to be, uh, you know, not follow the trends. I, I don't care about market trends and where the industry is going. I've always tried to do my own thing and uh, and be different. Mm -hmm.